Hi, today I took the day off, not really, but I wanted to show you guys in retrospect how big this pulley system is for the apple cidery. And then on the other side, show you how big the table is, the gears, just in retrospect of how, how are we gonna get these things out of here? I'm even puzzled right now. But uh, if you guys have any ideas, put some comments down, please. Um, we'd be looking for ideas. But for right now, I'm going to turn the camera around and give you guys an idea how big this stuff is with the tape measure. Okay, everybody, this is one of the pulley systems. Um, it still even has one of the old belts on it. Uh, so it's kind of cool. But each one of these pulleys is actually wood. And it's held out by a big cast iron uh, bearing system. The shaft is five feet long and one inch uh, in diameter, and it's solid. In each one of these pulleys, and you can see there's some wear from an old belt. This one's three and a half, the next one's three, and it works its way down. This one's fun because it's got a series of them. And if you come up to the staircase here and sneak your way up, I'll show you what's up here. It's crazy how much some of this stuff is. Now, as you can see, there's a multiple uh, series of big pulleys up here. This is a counterbalance for the other side. The other side has a few more on it, and I guess that was driving the bigger belt. But the two bigger ones here, they're 25 inches in diameter, and these ones are 15. So you can imagine the weight that's there. And again, this time it's a two inch shaft that goes all the way four feet long. And on the other side, exactly the same, except for it's a six foot, two inch in diameter. And then the wheels, of course, are big. Like, it's crazy, as you can see. And there's three of them there. And you can see the old bearing systems. So everybody come up and grease that. There's a wood one here, so that's really crazy. And of course, the other side, there's counterbalance. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six of those big wooden round pulley systems. So we'll sneak back down. And here we go. Ta-da, the press. So these are the pulleys that you saw from upstairs. And that will give you an idea. There's the old belt that used to be run on it and it's six inches wide. So it's spun a lot. And as you can see right here, it's even burnt in one of the pieces of wood. And the pulleys from here would run all the way down, sorry, right there, straight down into the actually engine of this part. From here, you can see the chimney. It goes all the way to the basement, all the way to the top, and that's at least 50 feet. I didn't measure that. Here, you can see the apple chute, and you can look inside, and there, they'd load up full of apples, and there'd be a grinder that would grind the apples. And how they got the apples in there was if you look way up at the top there, there's a pulley. It had a big fat two inch rope on it, and it went all the way down to the basement. And this cart that they would fill with apples, they loaded into this chute, and they'd go all the way down the basement with the chute, with the cart, and you can see the trap door for it, and they'd load up the apples there and bring it back up. And when it came out here, they had some sort of like mulcher that would mulch the apples and crush it really fine. And they put it in sacks, and then they carry it over to this big table that's five feet wide, by six feet long and it's solid oak. It's six by sixes all the way, 12 of them. So they load up the apples here and you can see there's holes in each corner here for the juice to run out. And how they do it is they press it. You can see here, there's a shaft and on the other side, there's the same thing. And there's a three inch beam that's six feet long that would have like a board here and then push it down and it would squish the apples and all the juice would run out into those holes. But just to give you an idea of the, how big these gears are, these cogs are three inches wide. There's two of them. 
And I'm guesstimating that they are 24 inches round. So that's a big cog. I think they're called cogs. I hope so. And then you can see the big wheels here again. Sorry for the light. And those ones are just as big as the ones back there. And then there's another belt here. And that one's not as big, it's four inches. But you come along and you can see the gears up there. I'm gonna raise you guys up so you can actually see inside of it a bit. That's big. And you can see that it goes off view. This is where somebody, I wish I had a drone, but that gives you an idea of the gear system that was actually here to push those apples down. And again, another pulley system with a big counterweight on it. And you can see the little belt that's still on the one. And we'll go along and follow that one along so you can see where it went. Here's the other side of that big pulley system. And you can see there's a number of pulleys that go. But where do they go? Down in the office where we were the other day. So this four inch belt went all the way around and back up to those gears and pushed them all the way down so that apple press could push apples down for the pleasure of us. An awesome thing. As the juice came down through these two holes, they're both two inch in diameter, they'd actually go down a tubing that would go through the six by six and work its way down into the basement. And down in the basement, they would refine it a little bit more and filter it more and process it so that way it could be delivered out to the grocery stores. It's a pretty amazing thing. And after when they were done with that, they take the scraps and the burlap and they'd separate them again. And then they take all the apple scraps and throw it out this hatch door. And out this hatch door, it would go to a building in the back here. You can just see the cement there. That's the remnants of it. And it would get filled pile full of apples. And then people come and take it and recompost it. It's an awesome thing. But that gives you an idea of what the apple cidery is about. Please like and subscribe. It would be awesome. And have yourself a wonderful day. Take care, folks.